Hey, bud. <laughs> Hey fans, we're here on King Street West, just outside of Frings with Justin Morrow from Toronto FC. Now this is one of the most exciting streets in Toronto, filled with hundreds of restaurants. So why are we at this particular spot? Yeah, when I moved here to Toronto, I lived in King Street when I first got here. Restaurants up and down the street, but this place really stuck out to me. The music, the food, the vibes are all great. Well, you have been hyping this up quite a bit, so let's go inside and find out a little bit more. All right, let's go. The decor here is one of the things that really sticks out to me, one of the things that I love. And when you walk in, the first thing you see is this beautiful bar right here. And one of the things that pops out is the chandelier. And if you look closely, the chandeliers are actually made out of clothes hangers. Clothing hangers as the chandeliers, shaggy rugs on the back of chairs. I mean, this is crazy. Well, these big, massive chairs are one of the unique things about this dining area, which I really like. I think on top of the fact that they're big, they're, they're comfortable, which is a little bit more intimate than you get at normal restaurants. We're here with Caleb, the sous chef here at Springs Inn. Now, I know that a lot of your plates are shareable. Why is it that you guys have that concept here? Well, I think it's the main fact when, uh, a lot of people know Springs is associated with Chef Sous Lee. So when you go out to one of his restaurants, you want to you know, try everything. You don't want to come in for one dish. Why try less when you can try more? <laughs> I know, the food here is great. Tonight, we're going to try the truffle fries, yeah. the meatballs, the fried chicken, and I think we're going to have a dessert, too. So looking forward to it. So you've been living in Toronto for quite a few years yes. now. What was the perception that you had of this city before you moved here versus what you think of it now? All right, well, when I got traded here, there was a couple of teammates on San Jose that were on Toronto before they were on San Jose. And everyone told me that it was amazing. Everyone told me that I was gonna love it. So I did expect a lot out of it. And since I've been here three years, I can say it's lived to lived up to expectations. I really enjoy it here. Okay, here we have our crab salad toast. Beautiful, thank you. My first two years in the league, I lived by myself. Started cooking for myself. And I had a lot of time, a lot of learning to do. And I started watching TV shows. And then I started to appreciate- Like cooking shows? Yeah. So then I really started appreciating it, you know, going out. Yeah and I could appreciate the food more because I was cooking it and I realized what it took to have something taste so good. What kind of stuff do you like to cook? My favorite type of food is Italian food. So I have here the spicy maple fried chicken. I'll let you do the honors. Yeah. This is the star of the show right here. You got the hot sauce and the maple sauce. This was the whole reason why we came this here. Is, this it's is chicken. the reason right here. What's like your ultimate cheat meal? Like I know during the season, like this would technically be considered a cheat meal. You guys eat so healthy when you guys no, are playing. No, I love but... I love to go to the diner for a milkshake after a game. Really? Yeah. Every game you go and not you every okay. game, but um, you know sometimes my daughter's exhausted. We don't <laughs> make it there, but yeah, when we can, I love to go to the diner. I don't even know if I have room for this, but I oh, need to make room for this. I'm coming to you for all my restaurant for recommendations now. I'll take that title, TFC Foodie. Yes. The foodie of the team. Typical touristy things. Have you done any of that in the city? Um, I haven't. I haven't been to the aquarium. I have been to the CN Tower. I've eaten up there and taken in the views. Even though I've been here three years, I'm still exploring the city. I don't think there's any time where we have a weekend off where I'd rather leave the city than stay in the city and find something new here. When we moved here, we were trying to decide if we should live by the lake and have a nice lake view or in the city. We both really enjoy the city, so we ultimately decided on the city and it's been great, fantastic. I love walking everywhere. I love the big city feel and I love the little neighborhoods as well. And on top of that, the people here are amazing. I think the people have been really inviting and it's an eclectic type of group, you know? There's people from all over the world here and you'll never feel left out, you'll never feel out of place. And so we really enjoy that part of it. I can see why this is your favorite <laughs> restaurant to yeah. come to. I think it might yeah. be my new favorite too. Thanks so much, <laughs> Jamo. No problem. We have to say thanks to Frings as well for having us, letting us film. Love your food. Everything was great. <laughs>